नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन रॉन्सकियन हुई चीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू एग्जामिन द लिनियरली डिपेंडेंट लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट फंक्शंस ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स बिफोर गिविंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रॉन्सकियन आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लिनियरली डिपेंडेंट फंक्शंस एंड लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट फंक्शंस फर्स्टली आई विल गिव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लिनियरली डिपेंडेंट फंक्शन लेट y1 and y2 be two functions of x therefore we may write y1 equal to y1 x and y2 equal to y2 x y1 and y2 are said to be linearly dependent if y2 equal to some constant lambda multiply y1 lambda not equal to 0 then we may get the value of y2 if we have the knowledge of values of constant lambda non zero and value of y1 that means y2 depends on y1 we may write this equation as lambda y1 minus y2 equal to zero here some constant multiply y1 plus some constant mul minus 1 multiply y2 equal to 0 then y1 and y2 are said to be linearly dependent functions we may also write Let C1 Y1 plus C2 Y2 equal to 0. C1 and C2 are constant. And at least one of them B non zero implies that C two Y two equal to minus C one Y one implies that Y two equal to minus C one by C two Y one for C two not equal to zero implies that y2 equal to let minus c1 by c2 is lambda y1 let minus c1 by c2 equal to lambda let this is the equation 1 and this is equation 2 therefore equation 2 reduces to equation 1 and here y2 and y1 are linearly dependent functions of x. Therefore, another form of linearly dependent functions of y1 and y2 be if c1 y1 plus c2 y2 equal to 0 for at least 
वन ऑफ सी वन एंड सी टू बी नॉन जीरो देन वाई वन एंड वाई टू आर लिनियरली डिपेंडेंट फंक्शंस नाउ लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट फंक्शंस लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट फंक्शंस लेट y1 वन एंड वाई टू बी टू फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड इफ सी वन वाई वन प्लस सी टू वाई टू इक्वल टू जीरो इंप्लाइज दैट सी वन इक्वल टू जीरो सी टू इक्वल टू जीरो देन वाई वन एंड वाई टू are said to be linearly independent functions in generalized form we write linearly dependent and linearly independent functions as follow linearly independent functions let y1 y2 dot 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 yn be n functions of x and C1 y1 plus C2 y2 plus dot 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 C n y n equal to zero, where C1 C2 C n all are constants, implies that C1 equal to zero, C2 equal to zero, dot 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 all C are zero. That is C n equal to zero. Then y1 y2 y3 y4 dot 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 y n are linearly independent functions now linearly dependent functions let y1 y2 y3 dot 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 y n are n functions of x and c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus dot 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 c n y n equal to 0 where c1 c2 c3 dot 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 cn are all constants for some ci not equal to 0 then y1 y2 dot 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 yn are said to be linearly dependent functions by example we may show this example 1 Let y1 equal to e to the power x and y2 equal to e to the power 2x. Now y2 by y1 equal to e to the power 2x by e to the power x equal to e to the power x. This is not equal to a constant. therefore y1 and y2 are linearly independent functions example 2 let y1 equal to e to the power 3x y2 Equal to five e to the power three x. Then y two by y one equal to five e to the power three x by e to the power three x equal to five equal to a constant. Therefore, y one and y two. are linearly dependent functions now we define wrong scheme let y1 y2 dot 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 yn be n functions of x and let y i prime equal to derivative of y i with respect to x 
let y i double prime equal to second order derivative of y i with respect to x and in this way y i n minus 1 equal to n minus 1 th order derivative of y i with respect to x and w equal to determinant of in the first row y1 y2 dot 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 yn in the second row y1 prime y2 prime dot 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 yn prime in the third row y1 double prime y2 double prime dot 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 yn double prime dot 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 in nth row n minus 1th order derivative of y1 n minus 1th order derivative of y2 dot 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 n minus 1th order derivative of yn then w which is the function of x is called by the name Ronskian of functions y1 y2 dot 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 yn now we prove a theorem theorem is if y1 and y2 are two functions of x and they are linearly dependent on the interval on the close interval a b if and only if ronskian of y1 and y2 on this interval is zero now we prove this Firstly, we prove the necessary part. Let y1 and y2 be two functions of x and they are linearly dependent. Therefore, y2 equal to lambda y1 lambda is a constant and lambda not equal to 0 let this is number 1 taking derivative with respect to x in both sides y2 prime equal to lambda y1 prime y2 prime means dy2 by dx this is number 2 now Ronskian w equal to Ronskian of y1 and y2 Therefore, W equal to determinant of Y1, Y2, Y1 prime, Y2 prime implies that W equal to determinant of Y1, Y1 prime in the first column y2 equal to lambda y1 and y2 prime equal to lambda y1 prime and this equal to here we take lambda outside lambda here y1 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 prime y1 prime since first column and second column be same therefore lambda this equal to lambda multiply 0 this equal to 0 therefore Ronskian w equal to 0 proved sufficient part let Ronskian of y1 and y2 
b0 implies that w equal to determinant of y1 y2 y1 prime y2 prime equal to 0 let this is number 3 implies that here we take the value of the determinant y1 y2 prime minus y2 y1 prime equal to 0 implies that dividing both sides by y1 square y2 prime minus y2 y1 prime by y1 square equal to 0 implies that this is the derivative of y2 by y1 whole prime derivative this equal to 0 integrating both sides we get y2 by y1 equal to a constant lambda implies that y2 equal to lambda y1 therefore y1 and y2 are linearly dependent Proved. Now we prove the next theorem. Next theorem is if Ronskian's of two functions y1 and y2 of x on the interval, close interval AB is non zero for at least one point x equal to x0 of the interval AB then functions y1 and y2 are linearly independent on the closed interval AB. Let y1 and y2 are two functions of x. Ronskian of y1 and y2 on interval a b equal to w then w equal to determinant of y1 y2 y1 prime y2 prime y1 prime be the derivative of y1 with respect to x this is number one let x equal to x naught belongs to close interval a b and y1 at x equal to x0 equal to y1 not y1 prime at x equal to x0 equal to y1 prime not similarly y2 x equal to x naught equal to y2 not y2 prime x equal to x naught equal to y2 prime not let this is number 2 given that at x equal to x naught the 
रॉन्सकियन डब्लू इक्वल टू डब्लू नॉट नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इंप्लाइज दैट डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ वाई वन नॉट वाई टू नॉट वाई वन प्राइम नॉट वाई टू प्राइम नॉट नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो लेट दिस इज नंबर थ्री वी सेल प्रूव द थियोरम बाय मेथड ऑफ कंट्राडिक्शन इफ पॉसिबल लेट y1 and y2 are linearly dependent therefore there exist constants c1 and c2 at least one of these b non zero such that c1 y1 plus c2 y2 equal to zero this is number 4 implies that c1 y1 prime plus c2 y2 prime equal to 0 this is number 5 using 2 in 4 and 5 we get c1 y1 not plus C two y two not equal to zero. This is number six. And C one y one prime not plus C two y two prime not equal to zero. This is number seven. Implies that from six and seven we may write. Y one not, Y two not, Y one prime not, Y two prime not, and matrix. Here matrix C one C two column matrix equal to column matrix zero zero. let this is number 8 implies that let this is a and this is x and this is zero matrix where a equal to matrix y1 not y2 not y1 prime not y2 prime not this is a matrix here x equal to column matrix c1 c2 and zero matrix equal to column matrix 0 0 this is number 9 from 3 we get here in 3 this is determinant of a 
determinant of a not equal to 0. This is number 10. Therefore, from 9 and 10, we get the trivial solution. x equal to column matrix 0, 0 implies that x means c1, c2 column matrix equal to 0, 0 implies that c1 equal to 0, c2 equal to 0. This is 11. In 11, we get C1 equal to 0, C2 equal to 0, which is against our assumption. Therefore, our assumption at least one of C1 and C2 be non-zero is wrong. That is our assumption y1 and y2 are linearly dependent is wrong. Hence, y1 and y2 are linearly independent functions. Proved. Now we prove the next theorem. Theorem is if y1 and y2 are linearly independent functions of x on the closed interval AB, then Ronskian of y1 and y2 is never zero on the closed interval AB. Now we shall prove this. Prove. Let y1 and y2 be two functions of x and they are linearly independent on the interval a b therefore constant c1 y1 plus constant c2 y2 equal to 0 implies that c1 equal to 0 c2 equal to 0 this is number one this is for the concept of linearly independent property of y1 and y2 we shall prove the theorem by method of contradiction. Let Ronskian of y1 and y2 be 0 in the closed interval AB implies that Ronskian W equal to determinant of Y1, Y2, Y1 prime, Y2 prime this is equal to 0 
let this is number 2 let we have simultaneous equations c1 y1 plus c2 y2 equal to 0 c1 y1 prime plus c2 y2 prime equal to 0 let this is number 3 this is number 4 implies that matrix y1 y2 y1 prime y2 prime matrix column matrix c1 c2 equal to column matrix 0 0 this is number 5 from 2 and 5 we get into we get determinant of this matrix coefficient matrix is 0 therefore we get a non trivial solution therefore at least one of c1 and c2 be non zero solution means values of c1 and c2 and at least one of c1 and c2 be non zero this is number 6 therefore 1 and 6 contradicts with each other in 1 both c1 and c2 be 0 and in 6 at least one of c1 and c2 be non zero therefore our assumption the wrong scan of y1 and y2 be zero is wrong wrong scan w equal to zero is wrong that is w not equal to 0 in the interval a b proved that is wrong scan of y1 and y2 is never 0 on the interval a b proved now we give an example example Examine that y1 equal to cos x and y2 equal to sin x are linearly independent or not. Solution. Given that y1 equal to cos x, y2 equal to sin x be two functions of x we take derivative y1 prime means dy1 by dx equal to minus sin x derivative of cos x is minus sin x and y2 prime derivative of sin x is cos x Let W be the Ronskian of Y1 and Y2. Therefore, W equal to determinant of Y1, Y2, Y1 prime, Y2 prime. 
this is equal to cos x sin x here minus sin x here cos x this is equal to cos square x plus sin square x and this is equal to 1 not equal to 0 therefore y1 and y2 are linearly independent. Now we have learned that if a two functions y1 and y2 are linearly dependent then Ronskian of y1 and y2 must be zero and vice versa. Again if y1 and y2 are linearly independent functions of x then Ronskian of y1 and y2 is never zero. Next, if a Ronskian of two functions y1 and y2 is not zero at least one point in the interval, then y1 and y2 are linearly independent functions. Thanks for watching my video. If you are satisfied with my presentation and contents, then please click on like button and do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.